If there's one thing that Australia haven't lacked for in recent years it is open side flankers, and the latest name to make an impression is Fraser McCrate. From David Pocock and Michael Hooper battling it out for the Wallaby jersey to Matt Hodson's stellar showings on the West Coast and George Smith's timeless wanderings around the rugby world, it's one position that Australia have been truly blessed at in recent years. Jack Dempsey has shown his ability, too, whilst Liam Wright has impressed in Super Rugby since graduating from the U-20s in 2017. Now it is McCrate, Wright's team made at the Reds, putting down his own marker, his captain-to-captain -captain and open-side-to-open-side -open -side matchup with Italy's Davide Ruggeri was a highly anticipated one, but there was only one winner in Santa Fe on Tuesday, as McCrate was totally dominant at the contact area. Italy's ball security at the breakdown was constantly under threat from McCrate and Harry Wilson, another promising flanker coming through at the Reds. McCrate was also on hand as a prominent ball carrier, helping set up Will Harris's opening try with a nice line back and against the grain close to the ruck in a pinpoint offload to the supporting number eight. He carried with power and pace throughout the game and there was little Italy could do to stop him in defence. It was a consummate performance from the junior Wallabies and one which would likely have finished 36-0 or even better, had it not been for a late yellow card and the Australians taking their foot off the gas for two consolation Italian scores. As a breakdown influencer and a carrier, not to mention his savvy and respectful words in the referee's ear which seemed to preempt Italian penalties being spotted and called, it was as good a performance as you could expect to see at this level, and it bodes well for not only Australian rugby at the senior international level, but also the programme that Brad Thorne is trying to build in Queensland. Before McCrate can eye up succeeding the likes of Pocock, he'll have to battle the promising right for a spot at club level, but the marker he put down on Tuesday was an impactful one. His Next task will be taking on Ireland on Saturday, before Australia go head-to-head -head with three times winners of this competition, England, next week.